Good evening, everyone. System Chalk here with what I believe is the 107th episode of Book of Hours, playing as the artist. Uh, I had a little bit of a break between the last episode and this one, hence my confusion as to the episode number. A little bit of bad news. It looks like my tab tablet is uh, dead. It's a, There's a hardware problem with it, and um, it's one of these ones where the cost is a, you know, it's not as much as a new tablet, but it's on the margin for that and it's a uh, it's a, about five years old so um, I'm not quite in the spot where I can get another one but I will be saving it up over the next couple of months um, but that does mean I, I have notepad paper I mean it's not something that I it, it's a nice to have right it's um, it's not critical for the broadcast so it's not one of these things I'm not gonna set up a <laughs> what is it that go fund me to to get the the stream up and running again <clears throat> but it does mean that uh i'm going to have to rely on physical notes for uh, the next little while so let's see if we can remember where we were i believe we're opening up the ravage cellar uh this room is be uh this room too has been visited by worms the abomination of the relic kind but almost no traces remain so Mr. Kill's working on that. If I recall correctly, we had a little bit of a production pipeline for Asmail, but I also seem to recall the aim now was going to be to see if I could turn that Ascendant Harmony into something nice, particularly because it's a sunny day, so I can take advantage of a few more, um, a few more sky items. <clears throat> now, one small drawback here, um, if I look at something like the Hallowed Drum, so we've got room for music, and then under inspiration, we actually have room for another sky. I'm actually, I think I'm tempted to try and get a storm here, just so I can throw as much sky as possible at this. Uh, so that probably would have been wise to do before I started throwing everything at the sweet bones. But we still, you know, we have enough to work with. So let's, um, let's take a look at the Swaddled Thunder. We'll use the core there. Investigate the object. You won't use this up or consume it by doing this. And then I suppose I can uh, take my health and go to the sweet bones there. That's not a problem. There's not much work on offer in Brandkrug, but I can find sixpence worth of odd jobs. And again, the reason why I did uh, this specific action, I do have the solace, but in this case, just being able to throw as much sky as possible at leveling up the Ascendant Harmony means that I'm further along when I want to, um, you know, when I want to upgrade something, uh, something else. So I think probably what this means is that Mr. Kill is going to wind up being used quite a bit for the next little while. Um, we've got him for some winter, we've got him for some sky potentially. And then we do have Reverend Timothy. Uh, he's going to be helping us out with our um, with our cell here, but that's going to be conditional on me getting another curious hunch, and then also uh, making the sacrament assite. The thread parts. The weave is empty. The skies cry out. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's use a. I like pianos, so we'll use the grand piano on this one. So we'll add the Faust. In this case, we want to add the Ascended Harmony. This Now, this is going to be about upgrading the Ascended Harmony. Um, the other thing that we're go eventually going to be able to do is see if we can maybe make the Wind in Waiting, but we need the Mazarine Fife for that, which practically means I'm going to use it at a desk. There, There's a couple of other places where I might be able to use it, but the desk is probably my, my best bet. In any case, let's... Um, I, th I have some ideas about which ones will work, but let's just start with anything that has a sky element to it. Yeah, so there's the Didumos that I wanted. Don't actually have quite as much in terms of sky as I thought I would be working with, so... I'm still getting enough. So this could be because I don't have enough in the slots. Might want to try this in another slot at some point.
Yeah, I'm not too confident in being able to make make anything new. Still, it's worth uh, it's worth taking a look at what we can what we can try. Uh, all right, so apparently I haven't been trying Sacrosolus Invicta at all. Okay, there's the Ascendant Harmony. We're essentially using the Ascendant Harmony and other things to make make it, so I'm not uh, I'm not actually going to do anything with that, but. Okay, I'm reasonably content with what we wound up with here. Now, before we commit any of this, let's take a look. The first thing I'm going to do is take a look at these solar altars, given that they very frequently will accept sky, but I don't recall if any of them accept tools. Uh, the other one that would accept tools would be the telescope, actually, so it's a little funny that I would be making music at the telescope, but I won't ask I won't ask questions, I'll just take advantage of it. Okay. So not much in terms of tools to uh, to go for here. The great clock uh, no, also also not really something I can work with. But yeah, so if I take a look at the telescope, um, it'll take a lens and it'll take a tool, and then it takes a memory here. So my guess here is that I can sort of use this like the um, like the instruments. So we take the Mazarine Fife with the telescope. So this has the effect of turning it into an instrument. Um, now, I'm limited to two uh, memories here, but this is still a bonus because we've got the Ascendant Harmony, which is worth four. And then we can now combine this with the Storm. So, in essence, the previous, uh, the previous combination that I did was to take the Sun, uh, the Sunny Day, with its two sky, whereas now I'm using the Mazarine Fife. So not only am I... In fact, it would have been better for me to do this from the start, we still would have used the um, element of the soul to make the storm. But the reason why this is better is this still has the property of an instrument, um, but it also has the potential of creating that uh, that wind and waiting uh, result. So I wasn't really thinking. It's not again. It's not a natural um, connection to say I'm going to use the Mazarine Fife with the telescope, but within the context of the game, that's a permittable action. So there's going to be a little bit of repetition here, but nothing. Um, Nothing too dramatic, although it would help if I actually did the sky stuff. There may, of course, be applications other than sky, but um, I'm just going to focus on the sky stuff right now. And obviously there's repetition, but I don't believe I did furs and feathers. And I don't think I did sights and sensations either. So this is a chance for me to catch up on some of the ones that I skipped over. I think I did Glacier and Lightsmith, and let's double check. So it could just be Furs and Feathers, that's the one that... Uh... Okay, well, we got the Ascendant Harmony at least. Okay, obviously I skipped Lockworks and Clockworks. Is that really? And again, I'm pretty sure I did bells and braseries, but I'm bad for memory on these things. Oh, okay, so we're still one short with furs and feathers. That's a bit of a shame, but I will live with that. The didumos is still enough for what I want to do. Clearly, I was not paying attention with Sky Stories. Okay, so um, the thing I want to do now is get the Didumos with the sort of highest value 
memory that I can. So the Applebright Euphonies and Sacralamea basically wind up doing the same thing. So right now I'm at 17. That actually makes it a little awkward because if I get rid of the storm, then we, we don't have enough for the Didumos. So again, it's a little bit of a shame. I would have preferred not to have to give everything up like this. But we work, uh, we work with what we've been given. Um, now this, I think, is okay. Um, actually, there's one other thing. I'm just trying to think if there's another combination that I can do. Because if I can somehow keep the storm... Um, what I'd like to try and do is sort of a minimalist approach to this so that I can wind up with an Ascendant Harmony at the end as well. So if I take the Sacralamea, if I take the Ascendant Harmony, well, we're also going to be down the Faust, so yeah, I don't have any elements of the soul. All right, well, you know what? I don't need to get too clever with this. The Didumos is enough because that gets me what I need with uh, Mr. Kill. Anything else, you know, we'll, we'll take care of in the future. I think the remaining steps here will just maybe cycle through at the Sweet Bones in terms of, um, you know, making a bit of money and, um, you know, cycling, uh, earning and restoring, earning and restoring. Um, we're technically down a permanent memory in the form of the, <clears throat> in the form of the Ascendant Harmony, but that's a, that's one that I can get back. The only real drawback to this is that it's, Lantern's a bit hard to come by. Or, sorry, Faust is a bit hard to come by. Okay, exciting room. The jail cellar. The entrance to the sub-cellar was barred, locked, chained, warded, both physically and otherwise. Whatever was kept down there, they took it extremely seriously. It looks very much as if the questing worms broke the seals drawn by the power below. It looks very much as if they regretted it. We have Schloss Jannings, Dandelion Wine, Slow Gin, Homemade Berry Gin, Kerosene, Paraffin, we've got Abandoned Packages, some Copper Wire, the Malachite's Metal, Arsenic, Elderflower Cordial, a Box of Oddities, Scintillate Oil, Serpent Style Glass. Now, I believe this is the first time we've encountered this, but this is an interesting one, right? Serpent Style Glass, Carved Snakes Writhe Up the Frame. A prominent inscription reads to the librarian Willem in earnest of our wager. Now we'll contrast that to the Serpent Style Glass that we find in this room, to the librarian Gervenius in earnest of our wager. And I believe there was another Serpent Style Glass here. This one also has Gervenius. And if I recall correctly, um, Nisha the Plaque, who brought a key long lost, this bust is cast in highly polished bronze. That's Levinson. So this would be the slot. Um, this may not be obvious to people yet, but Nisha with the Plaque, who returned to complete what he began. And then we have the um, Chair of Challenges, here the Librarian Harry sat to formulate the paradoxes he would bequeath to Van Loren, and here the li Librarian Van Loren lay to ponder the pon paradoxes he had inherited from Harry's. There definitely seems to be a... Um, there seems to be something between Harry's and Van Loren. Something about this idea of them being the same person, basically. Um, or, or somehow being the same, and I've not quite been able to unpack that yet. I am interested in it, though. It is summer, and I'm sitting on the bench outside the Sweet Bones, eating crumbly cheese and nettle wrappings and good black rye bread, soaking up the sun. Now, it occurred to me that we actually probably had the, um, the birds and bells sound, so I should leave that aside. Uh, anyways, sorry, there's more more things I should look at. So we've got another Solomon's Preparation. Uh, amethyst Ampule, Pickled Mushrooms, you'll learn to like them. Essential Periost, Saw. So I would like to try and get a little bit more order in, um, in the house. So with Keeper Level Winter, Solomon's Preparations are a precursor to the Great Ink Nilicant. So 
So let's take a moment here. I think um, anything that should be in the kitchen needs to move to the kitchen. So elderflower cordial ideally is in either the pantry or the kitchen. Now the pantry is getting a bit full. Actually, that would be best with the others. Looks like we do have some space. The slow gin would also be good to put. Actually, we already have... All right, so the Eigengrau is a little difficult to place. Uh, for the dandelion wine, yeah. So it's the Domain Reveline, which we're really trying to replace. Um, we'll move Solomon's preparation to the... Uh, the alchemy shelf. I don't know if there's room for the pickled mushrooms in the jail kitchen, but should be some in the pantry. If nothing else, we can use this lower level, which was originally for the vegetables. Put those there. <clears throat> um, now this we may not have the room. Would originally, uh, originally I would put them up here, but I don't really think we have the space. But I should be able to still fit it in the. Um, yeah, I mean, not the ideal place for it, but it'll do the trick. Um, okay, I think these are going to... I'm going to have to live with keeping them here for now. The rest of these I'm a little more comfortable. I, again, I should have a better filing system for a lot of this stuff, but I also have rooms full of flowers, so I think um, I'm not quite at the point where I want to... Uh, I want to fully freak out about it yet. Clearly, in terms of elements of the soul, I've got some more things to work with on these shelves. But the biggest um, biggest details would be what we can unlock here. So we've got a 14 moon or 14 rose challenge for the sagging dock. The storms have had their way with this since the prison was abandoned. It won't last much longer. And the incandescent hollow. Sullen heat still roils below. Its originator may, uh, must be long gone. It must be quelled before I can descend safely. Now, notably, uh, this may actually be the largest challenge amount, I'm trying to remember, but 15 Forge, 15 Knock, or 15 Winter. We basically need to pull out all the stops on, on this one. So again, it doesn't mean that we're not going to go for it, um, but it does mean that I might. this is the time where I might want to make sure that I've, I've explored as many rooms as I can, because that would maybe be the point where I'm okay feeding, you know, Mr. Kill the Pale Marrow um, to give give me that extra winter. Um, all right, so lots for us to do, um, but I think we're safe enough to to clear out the day. Now, if I take a look at my paper notes here, we had uh, 14 for winter. Okay, yeah, so technically we have what we need... Technically, we have what we need to get in there with Winter. With Reverend Timothy, we've got 13 for Knock, so we would need to find two Knock uh, some other way to get in there. And we haven't tried anything with Forge, but I think our Forge is relatively weak in the grand scheme of things. So we have the option, um, is, is maybe the important point to make, but it's not necessarily... Um, it's not necessarily the wisest thing for me to follow up, given that I've got a couple of books that I can read and um, a few other tasks that I can I can attend to, such as getting another Wormwood Dream. Oh. Yeah, we should have this in time. The dream of a star is not apparent to the human eye, but its presence, once felt, could not be mistaken for anything else. 
No star is permitted upon earth, but we may cozen them to dream of us, and the dream of the star may take a kind of form which we call Didumos, Thomas DeWolf. Right. And that is a persistent memory. So this is quite powerful, as you can see. Six sky, three lantern, three winter, and three knock. Now, it's not something that I would use as an input to um, to anything. Well, I, maybe I'd use it, but it's not something that I would expect to advance further than uh, Didumos. But it's definitely something that will help me achieve some of these sky things that have been um, bedeviling me. It's really just the room, I think. Uh, now, the other thing that I need to work on is preserving memories. So we only have the solace, but that'll still, that'll still carry us through. And then we kind of go back to the usual suspects. Asmil, um... And the, uh, the Wormwood Dream. What's happening in the world beyond Brand Krug? What visitors will the season bring? We'll either draw a new incident, find a suitable visitor for the current incident, or retire the current incident if there are no visitors left for it. So we'll wait to see who arrives before we see what the incident is. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got a... Um, we don't, it doesn't look like we have Numa coming up, so I probably... I don't know. I can see some sense in trying to do another one of the winter... Um, Another one of the winter attempts, so perhaps we use Wist to talk to Mr. Kill. Yeah. Mr. Kill always enjoys a chance to catch up with me. If you don't choose a topic, Mr. Kill will offer help as a friend. We will produce the Wormwood Dream. Edicts Marshal. Now, I should feel safe enough to... Oh, hang on. I need to write. Well, I suppose if I needed, I could use the old wound here. Um, but I forgot that I need to bring a... a confounding parable. We still have plenty of time, so I'm not uh, not too fussed about it, but... Let's read, um, go back from Letters from a Fugitive. Okay, so we're going to use that to make the Wormwood Dream. Um, I want to restore my Wist using um, the Sweet Bones. Now, I would like at some point, so there's two things that I want. I want the Sacrament Assite, and then I would like a, wor uh, sorry, a, um, a, a Curious Hunch. So the Sacrament Assite, I am not entirely sure, needs... Uh, we'll just throw whatever we can in here. Alright, that one doesn't work. That one's always a puzzle for me. Okay, so we get the Glass Finger Toxin here. Okay, so we do need the extra knock for this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I will commit to the sacrament asset just because that takes the most. I'm just trying to remember what I needed for the curious hunch. I have a feeling it will also involve knock, so I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to work that out. Maybe preliminal meter. Well, ten knock. So the easy answer here, of course, would be to take the shaft, which is two, and then take a pattern, let's say, which would be four, and then that's enough to bring the preliminal meter together. Now let's imagine for a minute here that I didn't have the shaft to work with, so we would have the pattern um, for starters. I'm just trying to remember what would give me a higher knock. The tricky part on this one is um, I don't recall what the secret thresholds does. And um, I think stolen secret is the other one because I know there's a couple of knocks which only give one. 
the other challenge here is I don't believe we have any knock instruments, so we'd really be looking for altars. Um, St. Januarius is kind of the one that I would keep an eye on. Now this is, again, a bit of a, a, bit of a tricky puzzle for the simple reason that I, I can put something extra in here, but that something extra uh, in this case is an omen. This, however, takes a memory. This takes a memory. So in theory, we could take preliminal meter, we put a pattern, and again, the big if is if there is a, another two knock that I can throw in here. But that would be my way to a curious hunch if I, um, if I didn't want to use up the shaft. Another alternative would be to apply a moth orchid, but that would mean that I should also probably start um, using my, my core and my health for a little more gardening than I have in the past. Okay, so again, remembering that all of that is for Reverend Timothy so that I can open up another trapped cell. And I'm not opposed to doing that, but I want to I take some time to sort of think my next steps through. For Mr. Kill, in 10 seconds we're going to restore the Wist. Um, so we have everything that we need for Mr. Kill's improvements. That's clear. Um, a nice to have at some point would be the Ascendant Harmony. In fact, we can work on that now. I don't recall if Sacra Lamea lets me do that, but let's... Um, We'll try and get a little clever here and uh, use the Mazarine Fife. I imagine I'll need to use a memory, but the question would be, can I get away with using the Solace? Uh, okay, so we can get a name day riddle. I want to keep that in mind here, like with um, two, um, two moth memories, I would be able to turn Sacralamea into um, the name day riddle. So this one doesn't work because this uh, this builds the Mazarine Fife. Applebro Euphonies, on the other hand, yeah. So as long as we're willing to give up the Faust, we can turn that into an Ascended Harmony. I think that makes a lot of sense, just because it, either one, it's an input to a Didumos, or, or number two, it um, it gives me another Sky Persistent memory to work with. So, um, I suppose, and then of course I have the question of what do I do with the, um, what do I do with the, the books, the ones that I want to catalog. But I think a lot of this is hinging on whether or not I can get the knock memories that I need. And I know I don't have an infinite amount of time. So I'm just trying to think, um... So salt has knock, but uh, it's one, it's like a single knock. So that's not going to get me the curious hunch. But secret threshold does strike me as the sort of, like if you think of it, right? Like secret threshold really is one of those things which you could imagine has a high knock component to it. Now old wound, <laughs> fresh wound definitely would count as knock. You'd sort of think that maybe old wound gives you knock as well. But this is one of these cases where I think I'm willing to um, roll the dice on on this one. I think I'm going to see if I can get something out of. Um, I'm going to see if I can get something out of uh, the secret threshold, and that will be almanac of entrances. Probably should have <laughs> probably shouldn't have needed a prompt for that. Um, okay. So we will use the Faust to get the Ascended Harmony. We will use the... Uh, we're getting our... Um, it's any element of the soul as long as I may... Oh yeah, actually, so I should maybe keep that in mind. I would need... Uh, ro so in retrospect, maybe the... Um, maybe the FET wasn't that smart to use because I could have used Rose. Uh, but heart or knock will work, so we'll set aside a core to get our curious hunch at St. Januarius. Uh, health metal, tryst are all candidates. And then I, for some reason, I think I said I was going to try a curious hunch. I'm trying to think why I would try a curious hunch, because it doesn't last. Um, but I don't see any harm in cataloging a book at this point, so we will use the Lesser Arab with um, 
the Sun Catalog book. This book was probably written around the time of Hush House's nocturnal period, after the turn of the century. Uh, if, sorry, after the turn of the century. If I examine it, I can learn more about what knowledge it might contain. And on that note, uh, I realized that a lot of this was just sort of prep for um, the end of the week. But we're in a pretty good spot. Um, it is really interesting to sort of be at one of these really big rooms. And if you haven't seen what's in here, you can see a bit of a preview, right? Like the, This is one thing I really respect about this game, is that even though it is entirely self-paced, um, the whole idea of sort of the mysteries and all of that, um, really, they really do build you up, right? So um, you start off and you know, oh, you know, there was a fire seven years ago and you, you know, you're now the, the caretaker, you're the, the librarian of Hush House. Um, hey, we're going through, we still don't see signs of a fire yet. And then you get to the cooker bit and it's like, okay, you know, there's, there's melted stuff. Ah, there's the outlines of bodies, people were burned. Oh dear, there's worms and they started working through this area here and there's all of these stay away signs. And then the most powerful, um, you know, the most powerful area, you know, sullen heat still roils below, its originator must be long gone, but it must be quelled before I can descend safely. Um, you have this big build up towards what's lying underneath and you still get to see the outline of what's waiting for you in here, so. Definitely a nice a nice way of sort of building up some anticipation and uh, a challenge to equal the um, You know the payoff so I don't want to be too cute on on delaying uh, Delaying this because it is within our means But I also want to make sure that I'm not throwing away an opportunity to do some good uh, winter work Actually, it just occurred to me this isn't nearly as difficult as I thought because we can use the U blank with um, Mr. Kill as well, and that way we can keep the pale marrow. So <laughs> this is why we spend a little extra time on the recordings, I suppose. But yeah, lots that we can do, and uh, really this just kind of comes down to how do I want to spend my days, right? Because I do have a few different texts that I can read. Um, I think probably once I have everything cataloged, there's a very reasonable argument to be made that. I should focus on reading books first, and if I get an opportunity for people to open different rooms, that'll be because I don't need those elements of the soul for other purposes. But all of this will be stuff that we work out in the future playthroughs. As always, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.